Okay, are we all ready for this? I doubt that I am, but we really need to bring down some mass keepers right the hell now. I shall. Yeah, well, I think yeah, it, it's it's best to focus on one of them at a time. I think I would like to take care of uh, a sound first. But that hinges on actually getting to her in the first place. Oh, shit. Okay, I just made a little mistake. Now, Braff is gonna do a Phoenix level 2, I suppose. Not good. Not good in the slightest. No, we don't want to drop anything. Can we can't really do anything against that one, so... Oof. Shit. Clutch block, please. Julian. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, <laughs> I do not. I, I, I can't believe that happened. I, I, I refuse to believe. I mean, the, the dust. Wow. Oh man. Whew. I almost had to do these three battles over again because of that one little moment of gung ho. Holy shit, that was. Good. That was adrenaline inducing. I'm gonna have an adrenaline crash really soon, and I'm gonna be obnoxious as all hell. <laughs> Just so you know. Fair warning. use this turn to cast shining on the thing so we'll see the Valkyrie's attack animation at least once more and you can just stand there and look menacing now what I'm saying thousand bop <laughs> you know I am honestly having a lot of fun here Unama is really kind of becoming the butt of every joke in this let's play and this and he hasn't really been on the force that long. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, I mean, I guess it's 
him and the uh, Stingworm. Nasty little creature. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe I should focus Wrath to clear the way. Time anyone will get hit by that thing anyway.
some sun. That's pretty handy, actually. But... Only at two range. Zero out of ten. We are not carrying yet. Look at this. Okay, so I guess it really wasn't such a big concern uh, when you... I mean, yeah, I, I guess you really didn't have to defeat all uh, three uh, sub-battles at the same time to successfully reach the end game. So I was wrong. I am... Somewhat pleased. Then I can rest easy and just break face with abandon. All right, Cyclops, so get to do some something funny. I hope. Nope. is now open. Oh yes. Oh, uh, here's a fun little factoid, by the way. A thousand is the uh, character who reaches 100 hit points at the lowest level. Assuming that everyone uh, is promoted at the earliest possible uh, point. I am not lost. Julian Army, even with the dark power I've been granted, I've still been defeated by your powers of light. Yeah, you're a scrub. I'm dying, Basanda. Mother. Farewell. Braff, my beloved. Julian Army, you'll pay for this. Braff, mother will avenge your death. Yeah, Mama Balls of White, not happy. Casualty so far has been Murasame in Symbios's army. That is really good. I mean, this is not the hardest difficulty. I mean, let's let's be honest here. But oh, okay, second casualty. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, ho, ho! 
Okay. Primula lives. I am shocked. Speaking of shocked. Um. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what I'm asking. And let's see what random summon we get. Could be. Yikes. <laughs> Clutch MVP time. Um, yeah, and you don't have to touch that. There we go. That is a wrap on the penultimate battle of Shining Force 3. Ending with style. Cyclops. Just. Good show. And that goddess here is sure gonna come in handy. My dark power was enhanced. There's no reason I should have lost. Yet faced with the strong and light power of the Julian army, my dark power was no match. Brath, mother is coming to be with you and your father. The three of us can finally be together forever. Whew. Wow. Now that the hectic bit is over and uh, done with, it's time for the difficult bit. Brath, son of Republican General Faffer, is the son of a Bolsom High Priest? The Bolsom sect tried to make Faffer one of them, so they sent Posada to contact him. Maybe, but she she loved General Faffer. The last words showed that. That is true. Basan doesn't love for Faffer. That must have been the first time she declared her true feelings. My anger is growing. Anger for Bolsom will cost all this misery. My anger is growing as well, Isabella. We should use this anger to defeat Bolsom. The Symbios and Median armies have opened the passage to Balsam Temple. Also awaits at the top of the stairs. This will be the ultimate battle. We will soon face Balsam. Is the Julian army ready? Are you going to listen to me if I say no? Because you didn't the last time, bro. Must go up soon or the passage will close. Let's go to Bolsom Temple. Let's go indeed. We must defeat Bolsom, even if it costs us our lives. Ah, that's a little Persona 3, you know? This is 1998, or 97, something, so, uh, one of those years. <laughs> Jane, I've been observing you. You hindered Goriata's invasion of Estonia. Then you aided the enemy numerous times, which resulted in their successful invasion of Remotus. This is treason. Lord Balsom, please forgive her. The mix of light and dark power within that child is the cause of her actions. 
that special constitution of hers. It's a perfect example of how inferior superhumans of light and dark power can produce a descendant of greater power through mutation. Dot dot dot. She's just hanging out there, having fun. Not only has she taken advantage of the freedom given to her, she's fallen in love with the leader of the Innovator's Expedition. Oh, snap. Okay, she's not happy about that, I guess. Testing Lord Balsam with her childish actions has landed you in Lord Balsam's dark barrier. Jane, you foolish girl. With the force of light in her body, she can't escape my dark barrier. And her dark power can't match that other barrier either. Another thing that's haunting my mind, that calm. What has he been doing behind my back? He has been preceding us on our missions. Although he tried to act like he didn't care, he certainly hindered Masanda and Desher. Why did Kom help those people? What is he thinking? His presence makes me uneasy. Hello, peeps. Julian represent. That light, the one who bears the force of light, is finally here. The innovator, to finish the battle from 1,000 years ago. I've been waiting for, for a rematch, Julian Army. But what is the strong force of light, I feel? Has that Garcia grown stronger in the light? Nevertheless, with Lord Balsam's presence, we have returned to full power. I shall return to you the disgrace you brought upon me in Estonia. As soon as we defeat them, as soon as we defeat Julian, Jane will no longer be enchanted, and Lord Balsam won't be angry with her anymore. Although our opponent is an innovator, we won't let him escape alive. Yeah, that's what you think. So this is Balsam Temple. I feel the darkness filling the air. But the source is coming from deep inside. Deep inside. Balsam? Well, let's do the thing. It's you, the one who has Jane enchanted. Uh, what now? Because of you, that child is in a terrible situation. I will never give her to you. So you finally penetrated my servant's defense and reached my temple, Garcia. No, I should say my old foe, Innovator. Have you come to end the battle of a thousand years ago? You're the one who summoned me here, Bolzo. I summoned you here? I can't deny your presence, but you are trying to rebuild the Kingdom of Terry you ruled 1,000 years ago. Huh. Nor can I deny your presence, Innovator. Since we share the same origin, our goals couldn't be that different. Isn't that selfish tree? I do not know about that. The world you see is not one I can tolerate. My thoughts exactly, Invader. I will teach you I'm the one who dominates this world. I mean, he does have 2,400 hit points. But we are going to waffle stomp this guy hella hard. Just as I thought. Battle is the only way. I understand. Let us begin. The world doesn't need a dominator, and I will prove it. Goriate, Desharon. As we decided before, we shall combine our power. I got it, Fiale. Concentrate our power on Lord Balso to block their attack. This is the ultimate barrier which protects Lord Balsam with our combined power. It will not fail unless all three of us fall. Made from all your hatred. Very good. 
I accept your sacrifice. This doesn't look good. We have to get through the three high priests before we can beat Bolzo. To seal Bolzo, we must deprive him of his power first. That leaves us no choice but to defeat the three high priests. Is that clear? Our fate is in your hands, both of you. Okay, so we are going to dig into this fight in the next video, but first let's just have a look around. So here we have our shining scrubs. Somehow we don't actually have an extra dragon. Here we have Jane. Um, there is a gimmick involving uh, casting a blessing with her Sia on Jane. Um, in, in connection to Desharon dying, at least. Um, if you look at her stats, they are uh, about the same as we saw her um, some time ago, I think, except now she casts Proserpina level 2 as well. Um, same amount of hit point and, and MP though. So she's tough. And here's one of these guys. Met a lot of those in the Heroes Test Dungeon. I don't know if I showed you any on the, uh, like any in the videos. Uh, we may also see some demon knights, but they are not present at the moment. Let's look at Fiala next. 398 points, that should be a fair bit above what he had last time we saw him. So he's pretty well uh, boosted. That's not going to be fun. Let's mark 3 and Wendigo 2. We should be able to handle him as well. Kuyate. And Windstorm level 2. Let's see. Um, he is a bit stronger. He hits really hard. Uh, as for Bolzo. Um, he has the negative flash we were hit by so often outside, he doesn't have a range though, and demon breath, which is going to be nasty. And he has, as I said, 2400 hit points. So yeah, wish me luck. I don't think we're gonna fit this into one episode, and we'll try to fit it into two. But knowing my luck, that's not terribly likely. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this video. I will um, hopefully see you soon.